Hello boys and girls, welcome back. Today we're going to be making Ratatouille from the film Ratatouille. As you can see I'm wearing a Sunderland top and that's because Ratatouille famously is from Sunderland, a big Mackham dish. First what you're going to want to do is put a load of crosses in the top and bottom of some tomatoes like this. Yeah, all like this, but not like this. Because that's the wrong kind of cross, ha ha ha. Then chuck all your cross tomatoes in a boiling pot of water like this. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, oh, shit. oh bloody hell, oh dear. Once those tomatoes have been in the water for about, I don't know, 30 seconds, chuck them in some ice and start giving them a peel. There's John Peel, apparently, okay. If you're struggling to peel these, just imagine you're peeling six tomatoes and that should probably help you. Although it's not really helping him, is it? Uh -huh. Now imagine you're back in the circus when you're dealing with peppers. That's obviously always the best thing to do. There you go. Oh. Now, once you've stopped larking on, put your peppers on under the grill along with George Clooney and pull them out when they turn black. In the meantime, slice up your tomatoes dead thin, like I'm doing here. Oh, there's Ozzy Osbourne. I wonder who's going to be behind this one. Oh, it's Sharon. Another Osborne behind this one? Who knows? Oh no, it's Rio Ferdinand. Celebrate your discovery of the double Osborne and Ferdinand combo by doing a little dance and presenting the arse. Very nice. Once you've chopped up all your tomatoes, now would be a good time to go check on your peppers and George Clooney. So let's go do that now. Oh, right, so he's on fire. Okay, George, don't... oh, he's dead. Right, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I've um, killed George Clooney. Well, he's not bothered really, is he? A little smirk, right? You're a murderer. Swiftly moving on from that um, crime scene, start cutting up your courgettes. As you can see, a fresh courgette should always have dribble CC running through the middle of it. If yours doesn't, it's probably best you just bin it. As without a fresh courgette, your carpet will need relaying, so just make sure that's always the cope. Gary Monk snuck in there, so might be touch and go for my carpet, unfortunately. Now we all know the old saying. If you haven't got Graham Sooners running through your aubergine, just chuck it in the bin. But in 2020, these new aubergines have got another special person. There you go, Nick Knowles. And if you've got Nick Knowles running through, you're on to a winner. He will make your moussaka shine bright and really elevate your dreary sex life. Once it's been confirmed that your sex life has been elevated, go for a run. I find this works best when it feels like you're being chased. Just look at how much faster and brighter you run. When picking herbs outside, make sure you sniff it to make sure it's not covered in cac. Oh, who's the, oh, bear, cut, right, bear, come on. Now's not the time, shut up. We're just getting rosemary in time, come on. Right, so, what, oh, bear, no, no you don't, no. We're just getting rosemary in time, shut up, please. Don't, no, bear, oh my god. Right, don't, right, just get rosemary in time. Do not, do not drink piss. Like, please, just get your peppers out of the oven and stay away from any piss. Right, so once you've done that, stick your peppers in a bowl and cover them with foil so they can cool down. So once you've cooled down enough, get the peel- No, no! Peppers. Pe you're peeling peppers. Peppers. J peppers. Well, this is taking a piss today, by the way. Right, so once your peppers are peeled, start putting them in a blender so you can make your little bottom sauce thing. Yeah, nice. Right, what's he doing? Yeah, chop up three tomatoes and chuck them in and all. That'll be quite nice. Then get two bits of garlic. There you go. Look into my eyes, look into my eyes. Don't look around the eyes, don't look around the eyes, look into the eyes. You're under. Hypnotised garlic obviously works best, then chuck in a bit of thyme. And a quarter of an onion, apparently. Thank you, Thomas. Now, stick in a bit of chicken stock. Don't put in as much as I did, because I put in way too much and kind of ruined the whole thing. So don't, just blend it up, but as you can see, I'm having a bit of a nightmare today ladies and gentlemen, blender's not working, um, people keep interrupting me, look he's absolutely livid here by the way, uh, yeah, uh, wow, yeah, it's fuming. I was cross. Very cross indeed, so what you do when you're cross, you get your mum to help you, way good lad, look he's buzzing now. 
Come on, let's have a good end to this video. A happy chappy video. Ha ha ha. Blending away. Look, making jokes like that. Ha ha ha. Uh, so once it's all blended up and you're a bit of a dickhead like me, you can um, put it in a pan to thicken it up again, yeah? So once it's thick as flip, chuck it in the bottom of the pan, just like your Dave Benson Phillips. Splosh, there you go. Gonge that pedo! So once you've filled the bottom and you've finished gunging the pedo, it should make you go like this. And here's the tedious bit of laying all the sliced up veg in the bottom of the pan. And I'd just like to say now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to apologise for the grumpy attitude I'd say I have in this video. Yeah, you know, I've been having a bit of a tough time recently. My um, my pet cat has eaten my pet snake, and my wife just recently, like last week, ran off with all the mirrors in the house. So, I think you can understand why I'm feeling a bit down, a bit glum, so... But thanks guys, if you could just leave a like to, um, you know, really cheer me up, really get me through these tough times. And please leave a comment if you've had a similar experience. Now, if you want to finish off the ratatouille in a traditional way, you need to put a picture of Iron Robin on the last slice. And I can't stress this enough, it must be Iron Robin. Frank Ribery is not a worthy substitute. Then sprinkle over some of that rosemary, a bit of salt, a bit of pepper. Very nice. Look up to the camera. Oh, gorgeous. Disgusting! Alright, not that bad. Cover it with some greaseproof paper. Um, if you haven't got any of this lying around, you can use a picture of Brian May as a substitute and get it stuck in the oven. Bish bash bosh. This takes 90 minutes to cook, so practice your Bruce Lee moves while you wait. And also your Lee Catamole moves. There you go, cruncher. Get in. See you late. And also your cat and mole moves. And finish all that off with a great big smile. Before you get this out of the oven, knock out Deontay Wilder. See you later, son. Good night. Carried out the oven like a brand new hat. And then swiftly peel away the little paper bit to reveal what you've done. Get it plated up in the poshest way possible, because you're a big posh fart. Now get ready for the big reveal. Is it going to be an oh yes, or is it going straight in the bin? Oh yeah. Get in there, son. And now, even if you do a side-by-side -side comparison to the one that's made in Sunland, in Ratatouille, you know it's pretty good. It's about a 6 or 7 out of 10. So if that's not worth a little like and subscribe, then you really are an evil, evil idiot. Look, look how happy he is, man. Compare that to the start, he's buzzing. How can you take that away from him? Come on. So yeah, thanks for watching. You better subscribe and like and comment and all that, or there's gonna be trouble. Yeah, say yeah.